Stranger Things Season 5, Everything We Know. Season 4, Volume 2 has just been released, and it's safe to say that it was definitely one of the best installments of the show that we've had. With only needing to wait a month between Volume 1 and Volume 2, Season 5 is on the horizon and has been confirmed. So with that, I thought I'd take a look at all of the information that's out there and give my theories and prediction on what I believe is going to happen. So let's get into it. Here is Stranger Things Season 5, Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The release date. Netflix have already announced that they've officially commissioned the fifth and final season of Stranger Things. The creators of the show have stated that when they thought up the idea of Stranger Things, they always envisaged it being between four and five seasons, and they've stuck to that, which is good, as it shows that the vision hasn't been compromised at all. So with a new season definitely confirmed by the platform, that just leaves the question of when. Well, that date is something that hasn't officially been confirmed yet. It's difficult to base it off of the history of the show's releases too, as they fluctuated quite a lot. Season 1 released in 2016, and then we only had a year's wait until 2017 for Season 2. Following that, Season 3 was released two years later in 2019, and then Season 4 was released three years later in 2022 this year. So it's a difficult one to gauge. However, I would likely assume that the three-year gap was due to delays because of the pandemic, so I personally feel we may go back to the two-year gap, meaning we'd get a Season 5 in 2024 at some point. I'd presume in the spring or summertime. The Story Season 4, Volume 2 of the show finished up in a way that essentially meant that Hawkins and the Upside Down were now merged into one, and an all-out war between the two worlds would likely unfold in the not-so-distant future. I've broken different elements of the story down into sections that I think will be the main focus. The Battle of Hawkins Right at the end of the season, we saw that because Max died for one whole minute, it was enough time to allow the fourth and final gateway that Vecna needed to open, open. Which was then what was equivalent to the final crack in the dam that Brenna mentioned earlier, meaning that there was now a split between the Upside Down and reality, allowing the Upside Down to storm through and the two worlds to be merged into one. Before Vecna was burned by Nancy, Steve, and Robin, we heard him state to Eleven how he wanted to rebuild the world into something far more beautiful than what it currently was. And with Will also stating that he's not going to stop, not until he's got everyone, it leads me to believe that the beginning of the end is just getting started. With Vecna's human form being destroyed, and with the revelation that he harnessed the darkness of the Upside Down to form the Mind Flayer so that he'd be able to transcend his human form, Vecna in the form of the Flayer and Shadow Monster will likely aim to wreak havoc on Hawkins, claiming everybody in his sight. And being the sheer size that he is in the form of the Shadow Monster, he'll likely be able to do it at great speed and force. I predict there'll be an army of Demogorgons, Demodogs, and Demobats that he'll likely be commanding into battle to get as many people as possible, and to also destroy everything in its path. With the intention of taking down Eleven and the rest of the group, we could potentially see Vecna form in his original form if the body didn't get destroyed as I imagined it did. Or I believe he could potentially summon the darkness to form a version of himself in order to communicate on a more personal level when he wants to approach the group. I think we'll see the group have to save the town one final time and find a way of causing the gateway to close completely and for good, which in turn will be destroying Vecna at his core. I feel that Will is definitely going to have a heavy involvement in the final season. He was the one that was there when it started back in Season 1, and he has a personal connection with the Flayer, so I think it will come at a great importance, especially with one of the final shots in the episode of Volume 2 being him centred as the main focal point after touching his neck for the first time like he usually did when he sensed a bad presence. It shows that the Flayer has elements that are still within him. Max Max was in the state of a coma when we last left her in Season 4 Volume 2, where Lucas stated how she may never wake up. Eleven had tried to enter her mind, but she saw nothing there at all, something that she'd never experienced before. She was always able to locate the individual, but with Max being in a coma, it meant that she wasn't present and was unreachable. I personally don't think that it will be the end for Max. I think maybe her mind is trapped in some kind of purgatory that Vecna holds. She's between the living world in reality and the Upside Down, and we'll see her navigate her way back, and she could potentially find a weakness or some information that the group are able to utilize when she does eventually return. Outside of the battle 
Outside of the main battle that I imagine will be taking place, I think we'll see Eleven learn more about her powers. She's the most powerful that she's ever been following her training inside Nina, and we saw that she now has the ability to bring people back to life, something that she's never done before. The group doesn't know that she did this with Max, so I think we'll see her admit to everybody that she holds the ability, and there could potentially come a time in the finale where she has to use it on somebody that she cares deeply about, but she may be fearful of doing so due to what happened with Max. I also think that we'll see Eleven train to use her powers even harder, as we saw that she was dissatisfied with the way that the events went with Vecna, when Mike stated that she's never lost before. So whilst coming to terms with her powers and her being the most powerful that she's ever been, I imagine we'll see her grow and develop even more. I think Jonathan and Nancy's relationship will show signs of a crumbling nature in the final season. We saw all throughout season 4 that Steve and Nancy had a genuine connection that never went away, and I believe Nancy will realise just how much she does care for and love Steve, and will see them get together. I believe there will likely be some characters that do succumb to the season and don't make the end of it. It's the nature of the final season of a show, and with the creators of the show stating that it made execs cry when they read what they had planned for season 5, it could potentially be an extremely emotional time. Maybe Eleven uses her powers to the point where she ends up sacrificing herself for the town of Hawkins. I imagine it's going to be an incredibly emotional ride, and if it's anything like what Season 4 has been, it's going to be incredible. The Characters With most of the main cast being reunited at the end of Season 4 of the show, minus the devastating death of Eddie, I think it's safe to predict who will be returning. I think we'll see Eleven, Mike, Will, Dustin, Lucas, Erica, Hopper, Joyce, Nancy, Jonathan, Steve and Robin all return from the main cast, along with Murray and I also think we may see Enzo return as well. With regards to Max, she was left in the state of a coma with an empty mind following Vecna claiming her, but him being defeated in the process of it, something that's not been done before. I do think we will see her return and wake up from the coma based on the prediction earlier, I think we'll also see Jamie Campbell Bauer return as Vecna. We may not see Vecna in the physical presence in the present day due to him being burned, but I think we could potentially see his physical presence in flashbacks and how he's tied in to the entirety of the show. And I imagine he'd also lend his voice to the Mind Flayer as well. With it being in the latter part of the show, I don't think there will be a lot of new characters introduced, so I think we'll likely stick with the characters that we have and maybe a minor character being introduced. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about Season 5 of Stranger Things. I'm sure more information will get released as time goes on, and as well, more theories and predictions will likely be thought up too. If you want to see more videos on Stranger Things, such as Volume 1 and Volume 2 ending explained, theories and predictions, or character breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all there. If you want to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review next, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen in Season 5? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.